So, following on from my previous video on this Dell 486, I've put it to YouTube in a poll to decide which operating system I should install next. Windows ME was an unlikely winner and will likely not be straightforward to install, so let's get right into it. Inside the PC I have made some changes to give myself some chance of installing and running Windows ME. First off, I've added a fan to the CPU. This won't really help performance, but the CPU was getting uncomfortably hot, so this is just a precaution. I have also added another 16 megs of RAM to bring the total up to 32 megabytes. The minimum requirements do call for 32 megabytes, but I don't think this is going to make much difference at this point. I have also swapped out the hard drive for a Compact Flash IDE adapter. The hard drive that is installed was only 200 megabytes, and ME needs almost 500 megabytes of free space to install. I have left the original hard drive in place and just unplugged it as there is no need to hear it whining for hours for no reason, and also it's a pain to remove. The BIOS is limited to 504 megabytes only, so that is going to leave things very tight, but it should just be enough. Now I'm going to install Windows ME, so let's go. Now Windows ME does have a 150 megahertz minimum requirement, and if we try to install it we will get a pop-up stating this, and we will be unable to continue. Fortunately, we can override this simply by adding the NM switch to the setup. Now I will speed up the footage of the installation process. Skip ahead if you wish to miss this. So as you can see, I was able to install Windows ME on this 486, however, that is as good as it gets. I was unable to find a suitable VGA driver and I could not force the Windows 98 ones to be used. Besides that, I was also unable to get Windows ME to load my CD drive. No amount of registry editing, auto exec editing or even patching the DOS would change this. So after around 4 hours of troubleshooting and the clock getting close to 3am, I decided to quit this little challenge and install Windows 98, just like my original DX4 from back when. Unfortunately, this is where the poor performance of this machine ultimately shows up. Even after discovering that the VGA is on the VLB bus, the lack of performance options in the BIOS means that overall the machine performs very poorly for a DX4 100MHz system, scoring only 47.3 in 3D Bench. The games that did run fine in DOS are now completely unplayable in Windows 98, which is expected but still disappointing. So the future of this machine will likely be a fresh install of MS-DOS and leave the graphical operating systems for my stronger machines. Now that I've mentioned my stronger machines, that gives me an idea. The Windows ME on a 486 challenge is not over. Like the video and subscribe if you want to see more.